Welcome to the Pearl of the Indian Ocean, Sri Lanka, an island that dazzles with an array of stunning landscapes, historical sites, and vibrant cultures. We'll be exploring serene beaches, delving into history, marveling at natural wonders, immersing in rich traditions, and tasting the unique flavors of this tropical paradise. So buckle up and prepare for an unforgettable journey as the mysteries and wonders of this island unfold. Join us as we unveil the top must-visit destinations in Sri Lanka. Our first stop takes us back in time. Picture this, a city bustling with life where ancient structures rise against the sky and the air is thick with history. Welcome to the ancient city of Anuradhapura. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a testament to Sri Lanka's rich history, a place where past and present meet in a beautiful dance of time. Anuradhapura, once the heart of Sri Lanka's majestic kingdoms, is a city that thrived for over 1,000 years. Today, it stands as a proud remnant of a glorious past, its grandeur mirrored in the structures that have withstood the test of time. As we journey through this ancient city, we encounter the majestic Ruan Welisaya Stupa. Standing tall at over 300 feet, this white dome is a sight to behold. Built by King Dutugamunu in the 2nd century BC, Ruan Welisaya is considered one of the most sacred Buddhist shrines in the world. Its grandeur is a testament to the architectural genius of ancient Sri Lanka, a marvel that continues to inspire awe and reverence. But the city's historical charm doesn't stop there. As we venture further, we find ourselves in the presence of the sacred Sri Mahabodhi tree. This isn't just any tree, it is believed to be the oldest living tree in documented history, over 2,000 years old. It was grown from a cutting brought from India, and is said to be a direct descendant of the tree under which Buddha attained enlightenment. For centuries, this tree has been a beacon of hope and faith, drawing devotees from all corners of the world. The city of Anuradhapura, however, isn't just about its monumental structures. It's about the stories etched in its stones, the whispers of a bygone era that echo in its ruins. Take a moment to touch these ancient stones, worn smooth by time and weather. They have borne witness to the rise and fall of mighty empires, the reign of great kings, and the ebb and flow of history. As we walk through the city's ruins, we can almost hear the distant hum of life as it was centuries ago. The clatter of horse-drawn chariots, the bustle of marketplaces, the hushed whispers of monks in prayer, the laughter of children playing in the royal gardens, all frozen in time, waiting to be discovered by those who seek. Our journey through Anuradhapura is a journey through time, a voyage into the heart of Sri Lanka's rich history. It's an experience that leaves us with a profound sense of awe and wonder, a deeper appreciation for the civilizations that came before us. As you stroll through the ruins, each stone tells a story of an ancient civilization. It's a silent narrative of resilience, faith, and the enduring spirit of humanity. These stones are not just remnants of the past, they are the threads that weave together the tapestry of Sri Lanka's history. And as we leave, we carry with us the echoes of their stories, to be remembered, shared, and cherished. Sri Lanka's natural beauty is unparalleled. An island nation that's home to a diverse range of landscapes, it offers up an array of awe-inspiring views that are sure to captivate any traveler. From verdant rainforests and misty mountain ranges, to rolling tea plantations and sparkling waterfalls, Sri Lanka is a paradise for those in love with the great outdoors. One of the island's most breathtaking natural wonders is the Horton Plains National Park. Located in the central highlands of Sri Lanka, this park is a world of its own. Imagine a land of undulating plains, dotted with patches of thick forest, interspersed with sparkling streams, and framed by dramatic mountain peaks. That's Horton Plains for you. At the heart of the park is the world's end, a sheer precipice with a drop of about 4,000 feet. As you stand at the edge, you'll be treated to a panoramic view of the surrounding landscape. On a clear day, you can see all the way to the southern coastline. The experience of standing at the world's end, with the wind in your hair and the vast expanse of nature spread out before you, is truly exhilarating. As you walk through the park, keep an eye out for the diverse wildlife. Horton Plains is home to a variety of animals, including sambar deer, purple-faced langur monkeys, and a plethora of bird species. If you're lucky, you might even spot a leopard lurking in the undergrowth. The park is also home to the stunning Baker's Falls. Nestled amidst the lush greenery, this waterfall cascades down a series of rocky outcrops, creating a beautifully serene spectacle. The sound of rushing water, the cool spray on your face, 
and the sight of the water crashing down into the pool below is a sensory delight. Whether you're trekking along the many trails, picnicking by a stream, or simply soaking in the tranquility, Horton Plains provides a perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of daily life. It's a place where you can truly connect with nature and experience the peace and beauty it has to offer. And before you leave, make sure to stop by the visitor center. Here you can learn more about the park's unique ecosystem, its flora and fauna, and the conservation efforts in place to preserve this natural wonder. So next time you find yourself in Sri Lanka, make sure to plan a visit to Horton Plains National Park. It's an experience that will leave you with a profound appreciation for the beauty of our planet. And don't miss the chance to see the majestic Baker's Falls, a haven for nature lovers and photographers alike. The island's coastline is a tapestry of stunning beaches. Each one is a brushstroke of beauty, painting a picture of paradise that's both captivating and surreal. Among these gems is the beach of Unawatuna, a place that embodies the quintessence of tropical allure. Unawatuna is not merely a beach but a haven that invites you to leave your worries behind and immerse yourself in its charm. Imagine soft golden sands beneath your feet, warm to the touch as you walk along the shoreline. The turquoise waters, clear as crystal, glisten under the tropical sun, inviting you for a swim. As you dive in, feel the cool, soothing embrace of the ocean, teeming with vibrant marine life that adds a dash of color to the underwater canvas. But Unawatuna is not just about the beach itself. The town surrounding it is a vibrant tapestry of life and culture. The narrow streets are lined with quaint shops selling local handicrafts, restaurants offering a taste of authentic Sri Lankan cuisine, and cafes that let you enjoy a cup of salon tea while soaking in the breathtaking views. The locals, with their warm smiles and friendly demeanor, add to the charm, making you feel right at home. Now, if we move west along the coast, we come across the historic Galley Fort, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is a living testament to Sri Lanka's colonial past, with a fusion of European and South Asian architectural styles. Built by the Portuguese in the 16th century and later fortified by the Dutch, it is one of the best-preserved sea forts in South Asia. Walking through the cobblestone streets of Gal Fort is like stepping back in time. The fort is home to numerous historic buildings including churches, mosques, and colonial-era houses, each with its unique story. As you explore, take a moment to appreciate the intricate details of the architecture, the weather-beaten walls whispering tales of a bygone era. And then there's the fort's ramparts, offering panoramic views of the ocean. As you stand there, with the sea breeze gently caressing your face and the sound of waves crashing against the fort walls, you realize how seamlessly history blends with nature here. But as the day draws to a close, make your way to the fort's lighthouse. It's the perfect spot to witness one of the most mesmerizing sunsets you'll ever see. As the sun dips below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of orange, pink, and purple, it's a moment of pure magic that leaves you spellbound. The historic Gal Fort provides a unique backdrop for a beachside exploration. It's a place where the past and the present coexist, where the echoes of history mingle with the rhythm of the waves. It's a reminder that Sri Lanka's coastline is not just about stunning beaches, but also about rich heritage that invites you to delve deeper and discover its many wonders. Experience the heart and soul of Sri Lanka through its culture. Sri Lanka's culture is a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of history, spirituality, and the arts. This rich cultural heritage is best experienced in the city of Kandy, the last royal capital of Sri Lanka. Nestled amidst verdant hills, Kandy is not just a city, it's a living museum where tradition and modernity coexist harmoniously. At the center of Kandy lies the revered temple of the Tooth Relic. This sacred temple houses the Tooth of Buddha, making it one of the most significant Buddhist religious sites in the world. The temple's architecture is a remarkable blend of Kandyan, Dravidian, and Sinhalese styles, reflecting the diversity that is the essence of Sri Lanka's culture. As you step inside, the scent of incense fills the air, and the soft chants of prayers create an atmosphere of tranquility. In this city, the rhythm of life is set by the beat of the traditional Kandian drum. The Kandian dance, a dance form that originated in the hill country, is a captivating spectacle of vibrant costumes, thrilling acrobatics, and rhythmic drum beats. The dancers, adorned in intricately designed costumes and silver jewelry, move to the rhythm of the drums in a performance that is as mesmerizing as it is exhilarating. Kandy is also home to Sri Lanka's grandest festival, the Asala Parahara. Held annually in July or August, 
The festival is a nighttime procession in honor of the sacred tooth relic. The streets of Kandy come alive with the sight and sound of elephants adorned in glittering garments, dancers, drummers, and acrobats. The festival culminates in a grand parade, a spectacle of light and color that leaves everyone spellbound. The cultural experience in Sri Lanka is not a passive observation, it's an immersion. It's about feeling the rhythm of the drum, absorbing the serenity of the temples, and witnessing the grandeur of the festivals. It's about understanding the stories, the beliefs, and the traditions that shape the Sri Lankan way of life. The annual Asala Parahara Festival here is a spectacle not to be missed. It's a celebration that captures the spirit of Sri Lanka, a spirit of unity, reverence, and joy. It's a testament to the island's rich cultural heritage and an experience that stays with you long after the festival lights have faded. So, come, immerse yourself in the cultural tapestry of Sri Lanka. Experience the heart and soul of this enchanting island. Whether it's the spiritual serenity of the temples, the rhythmic beat of the Kandian drum, or the grandeur of the Asala Parahara festival, each experience is a thread in the vibrant cultural tapestry that is uniquely Sri Lanka. The Sri Lankan cuisine is a delight to the senses. It's a vivid tapestry of tastes, textures, and fragrances that tells the island's story through food. Just as the landscapes change from the misty mountains to the sun-kissed beaches, so do the flavors, offering an exciting culinary journey that leaves you craving for more. Let's start with breakfast, the most important meal of the day. Hoppers, a type of pancake with a soft, spongy center and crisp edges, are a Sri Lankan breakfast staple. The piece de resistance is the egg hopper, where a perfectly cooked egg nestles in the center waiting to be broken into. Paired with sini sambal, a caramelized onion relish, and a steaming cup of Ceylon tea, it's a breakfast fit for royalty. As the day progresses, the meals get heartier. Kotu, a street food favorite, comes to the fore. Imagine a stir-fry made with chopped roti, a type of flatbread mixed with vegetables, spices, and often meat or eggs. The rhythmic clanging of metal spatulas against the griddle as the kotu is prepared is music to a food lover's ears. Now let's sweeten things up. Wadalapam, a custardy dessert, is a testament to Sri Lanka's multicultural heritage. With roots in the Malay community, this coconut milk custard is delicately spiced with cardamom, cloves, and nutmeg, and sweetened with ketul jaggery, a type of palm sugar unique to the region. Sri Lankan cuisine is not just about the food, it's about the experience. It's about the bustling markets brimming with fresh produce, the street vendors crafting their dishes with years of practice, and the home cooks who lovingly prepare meals for their families. Each dish is a blend of local spices and cooking traditions passed down through generations. It's a culinary symphony that brings together the island's diverse influences to create something uniquely Sri Lankan. So the next time you're in Sri Lanka, lose yourself in the culinary journey. Taste the flavors, savor the experiences, and let the island's cuisine tell you its story. Sri Lanka is a land of endless wonder. We've journeyed through time in Anuradhapura, taken in the breathtaking views at Horton Plains, lounged on the golden sands of Unawatuna, immersed ourselves in Kandy's rich culture, and savored the unique flavors of Sri Lankan cuisine. Each destination paints a different facet of this island's charm, beckoning travelers to dive deeper. We hope this journey has inspired you to explore the enchanting destinations of Sri Lanka. Until next time, happy travels!